It's a common occurrence in the music industry that once a genre has reached its peak and then started to fall, a lot of people seem to declare it dead, but are genres ever really dead? I suppose it's more an opinion rather than actually a fact as to whether a genre is dead or not, because it's just a genre of music and any type of music that's been made in that genre is always going to be there, so it's never really... It's never not going to be there if that makes any sense. But in my opinion, I don't think genres do die. I think they stagnate because I think genres can come back and I think they can be bigger than they have been before, even though that's really rare that that ever happens. But there are a lot of genres that do stagnate. There's a lot of, I guess, niche genres that have a big peak and then go back down and then just stagnate. And it's either the only people making music there are either people copying the stuff that was big before and that's it. Everyone who's doing new stuff is not playing that genre anymore. The example that I want to use in this video is pop punk. It's a genre that both me and Joe have played. We've been in bands that have played pop punk. We've been most involved in that scene more than any other genre. And it's a very common thing in that genre that there's like, there's even t-shirts printed with it on and stuff and it's just pop punk is not dead. There's more people saying that than there is actually people saying that pop punk is dead. So to break the mold, pop punk's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than complain about pop punk being not dead, why not just enjoy pop punk and... I don't know, it's, a, it's an argument that doesn't need to be made. If you're having to argue that pop punk isn't dead, that means that you probably it's a redundant argument. I think what tends to happen, and especially what happened with pop punk, is that the genre has gradually just become a parody of itself. We mentioned this in the live stream the other week when we were talking about Blink-182's new album and Green Day's new album, is that both bands seem to be now just parodying themselves rather than just getting in a room and making some music. They seem to have gone in the room and gone, okay, what would Blink-182 do? Even though they are Blink-182, it seems a bit of a weird thing. I think that is across the whole genre of pop punk. I think that's the case. There seems to be a lot of this parodying the old style and rather than having people come in and innovate and do new things for the genre, they're doing that elsewhere. They're making new genres and stuff and pop punk especially has now just been left as the same sound as it has for the past 10 years or so. There are some exceptions. There are some uh, bands that are out there making some new cool stuff with pop punk, but on the whole, the genre is just kind of doing the same as it has done for the past 10 years. Even if you are a person that has the opinion of this genre is dead, maybe that's not a bad thing because people that used to play that genre and maybe have moved on, they have moved on to new genres. They have created a new style of music or, you know, when you've got like your post-modern rock or all that kind of crap where you just add a load of like prefixes on and suffixes on. Maybe that's a, maybe it's a good thing that that kind of thing happens. They, they take what was already there, make it better, improve on it and leave the old genre to, to die. Maybe that's not a bad thing because that's when you get the branch. If you've ever seen like, um, it's like a, it's like a tree of genres that you can find out. There's probably one online. I'll link it in the description if I can find one. But it's like, it starts with like, you've got like blues and jazz, and then it just kind of trickles into like rock and roll and then punk. And the tree just like goes huge because of the amount of genres that have all stemmed from these few genres. That's what we're in, in the midst of with genres that are dead. They are just part of that tree that are sprouting into newer things. So to answer the question, is pop punk dead or any genre dead? Maybe, but also maybe that's a good thing. <laughs>